Good morning and happy Thanksgiving. It is 9-12 here where I am because I am in New York. I'm not sure what time it is for you guys whenever you're seeing this. Either way, it's timeless, but technically I'm doing this for Black Friday financial advice and Thanksgiving advice because there are so many sales that go off early on Thanksgiving, which is kind of silly to me, but either way, I hope you guys enjoy your holiday and have a wonderful day. And I hope you have lots and lots of fun with your shopping. All right, so you're for your choices. We have this half dollar over here. We have Oscar and then the other half dollar. Timestamps will be down below for your convenience as usual. So without further ado, I'm going to jump in in a second. So if you need any extra time to decide on which pilot it is you would like to pick, please go ahead and pause the video now. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. Oh, before we jump right in, I am also going to be doing a Rebel Deck pull at the end with a few more extra messages at the end. But if you are offended by any foul language or cursing, please know that you can skip that part. Thank you so much, and let's go ahead. Alrighty, for pile number one, let's see what we get from your tarot cards. We will read these last as your financial advice, and the Akashic Tarot for some extra um, daily guidance for the day. So we have the Moon, we have a or uh, excuse me, King of Cups. From the these are from the Tattoo Tarot, and we have Strength. Working with a new setup here for an idea. We have the death card. And then we have Knight of Pentacles. So let's line these up so you guys can see them and then we'll start. Alright, so right away I feel like with these two cards, I feel like there's some slow moving unforeseen energies that are creeping in and I feel like you guys can feel that coming up. And you're kind of wondering, well, how is this going to go? How is this going to affect my money? <laughs> what kind of sales am I facing? Is there going to be a last minute sale on something that I didn't plan for? Some stuff like that is what I feel like is coming through. But I feel like if there is a last minute sale that comes up that you don't have enough money for, I feel like it kind of just wasn't meant. And it's something that you really don't need anyways at this time, even though it the looks can be deceiving because it looks absolutely beautiful and something that you would really, really like to and love to have. Also, I feel with this card, the strength card, I feel like you can also refrain from going all willy nilly and getting all into the spirit of shopping and buying like crazy person, like most people do <laughs> and not paying attention to your money. I feel like you have the strength within you to hold that back and to make wise decisions from what I'm getting from that card. And with the King of Cups, I feel like there might be some heated emotions today and tomorrow with these sales. So please try and refrain yourself from getting too upset with people who are kind of rude and possibly ignorant towards you during the day. <laughs> know that it's just like, it's the atmosphere, really, and it's the tension that's in the air with everything that's going on, is what I'm getting from this, okay? So let's see what the Akashic Tarot has for us. For some extra grants, we have the chess game. What I heard right away from this is smart moves. So basically, definitely some smart moves are need to be made with finances and watching what you're going to buy first, second, last, and third. Just strategically strategize how it is you want to go about this today and tomorrow with your sales. And that way you get the best bang for your buck is what I'm getting, okay? Then we have Two of Worlds. Decisions, decisions is what I'm getting with this. And deciding if you want that big flat screen TV or not, even though she's looking at a fireplace. For me, it looks like a flat screen TV. So I feel like, do you really need it? Yes, you do. For some of you, some of you know you don't. Do you really need another TV in the house? Where are you going to put it? That type of thing. 
And I feel like the wheel in your mind is just turning, turning, turning and trying to make the best decision for which model to get as well for some of you out there. Again, the queen of forces decisions, decisions is what I'm getting. I feel like whichever model of product, like if you're going for the TV thing, like I said, whichever model has the best quality and picture would be the better model. And also watch your prices because you might be able to find something somewhere else for a bigger, better deal for the same exact model for a cheaper price. So keep an eye out for that. Then we have caught in the ruins. So I feel like with this card, you feel a little trapped and kind of like, hmm. I'm trying to put this into words cause I'm trying to slow down a little bit. So with this, with the feeling trapped, I feel like there's a lot of, um, like, I feel like there's a lot of restriction with trying to figure out what you're going to buy for, um, today and trying to figure out the best way for your money, but you feel really constricted about it because you feel like, okay, I only have X, Y, Z amount. How can I stretch this as far as possible? So let's see. We have spring and autumn. I feel like you can stretch it out beautifully. And I feel like if you look at it from two different points of views for when it's actually like, when you're, when are you actually going to use whatever it is that you're buying? Think about that and then buy it for the season. I also feel like it can be used both during the fall and the spring, whatever this item is. So it's a very um, broad spectrum item. And also you have a lot of broad choices as well with this. So let's get some guidance from the Abundance Angels, okay? So we have do the work. It's not enough to dream or pay. You also have to take a positive action. You also have to take positive. I can't speak this morning. You also have to take the positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a, a lush flower garden. Yeah, that goes perfectly with this card with the um, um, spring and autumn because the spring with the flower garden above. <laughs> So with this card, I feel like it's all about priority priorities. And especially it brings me back to this with when, when are you actually going to use it? Prioritize when you're actually going to use it or if you're not going to use it. And that'll help you decide if you really need the item or not. And that way you can make a different choice and get something even better for your money. Then we have ask for your needs to be met. God and the angels can come to come to your aid only if you make a f only if you make a free will choice to be helped and it begins with asking it doesn't matter how you ask God for help but only that you do so the same holds true with clearly asking other people to assist you and that's exactly what I was getting even before I got to that part of this card I feel like if you need to ask a family member for some a, a little bit of extra cash or a friend for a little bit of extra help Please know that it's okay to do so, and I feel like they will be right there next to you to help you out in a pinch today or tomorrow, whenever it is that you're out and about doing your Black Friday sales or any kind of shopping over the weekend, okay? We have focus on your priorities. <clears throat> when you put your focus, where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them t the time and attention they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. So with this, it's all about what's more, m most, more st <laughs> most important. <laughs> what's most important for you today and over the weekend for what you need to buy financially and also um i'm hearing food for the house prioritize and get what you most need and it'll go a little bit of go a long way is what i'm hearing as well so don't over overindulge and don't overspend if you can help it okay 
because I feel like there's going to be some definitely big cyber sales on Monday that you're going to be really, really interested in, and you're going to want to save a little extra money and time out for that, okay? These are your messages. I do hope you have a wonderful holiday, and please stay tuned at the end for the Rebel Deck messages, and I will see you guys next time. Alrighty, so for my lovies who picked Oscar, let's see what Oscar has to tell you guys today. He says happy Thanksgiving, by the way, and sends his love to all of his fans out there. We have King of Swords, lots of um, clear and concise decisions, even if you got to be a little nudge nudge in them stores out there, okay? We have Knight of Swords, rushing in, brash decisions don't want to do that too much I'm getting the feeling that you need to kind of like hold back because he's pulling back on the horse a little bit even though the horse is bucking up just to make sure that you have everything that you most need today and get everything done in a quick and steady pace we have the eight of wands I always think of the star when I see this card so I feel like it's definitely um, a lot of communication is needed today so if you have some friends or some family out there that um, know some really great sales, definitely reaching out to them and them reaching out to you and communicating back and forth to see where you guys can get the best um, sales and deals is most needed today and tomorrow for your sales and also over the weekend into Monday for Cyber Monday. We have the devil. Be careful. Watch your temptations. Looks can be deceiving. Remember that. Sometimes these Black Friday items can be a little bit like too good to be true and then they, they, the products, they just are crap after a while. And then we have the Nine of Wands. So with this, it's clear because everything is concise with black and white to have your guard up with this. But know that it's also okay to put it down just a little bit in order to... Um, focus on your priorities but I also feel like it's definitely like kind of like a guarded energy like watch your po watch your pockets watch your purse watch your wallet whatever you got to do watch your money today okay and tomorrow and that's what I'm getting from your tarot cards so let's see what we get from the Akashic Tarot I'm gonna put those over there sorry about that all right we have the king of keys which is another King of Swords cards for, um, card. And then we have the Sands of Time. Sorry, I was, my phone's going off. <laughs> um, Six of Scrolls, Sands of Time. And then we have the King of Scrolls. And the Akashic Library. So with this card, I feel like definitely looking over all the sales catalogs, really closely and um, prioritizing and making a list because I see him writing in this I feel drawn to tell you guys to definitely make a list of exactly what it is that you're looking for and want and write down um, the important sales for the items that you want and their prices so that way you can keep an eye on your budget and track exactly how much you're gonna spend or how much you actually need for these sales with the King of Scrolls, I feel like don't be so close-minded with this. And also to definitely um, look and read into everything, like the details about these products, because you want to make sure that you're getting the right one and not the wrong one today. So watch the wording of the advertisements is what I'm getting with this. And then with the Sands of Time, it's all about timing, especially if you're doing... Um, internet sales and clicking the button at the right time so that you can make sure that you get the product so I don't need to tell you guys this you guys have probably already thought about it and already do it but put your items that you want that you know are gonna be on sale in your cart already and get ready with that little clicker finger to click that checkout button just in time so that you can get those sales and lock in those prices and get your products and with the king of keys wise decisions but they also had to be clear cut and concise as well today and I also feel like you're going to be making some very firm decisions and 
it's definitely a good day for that. Let's see what we get from the abundance angel, shall we? We have gratitude list. So with this, I feel like it goes back to this card with making a list and prioritizing everything. Not so much as um, having the attitude of gratitude, but that will help and go a long way as well. And I'll read the card for those who would like to listen to um, what the card has to say. We have counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you to be centered in your heart instead of fixated on worries in your mind. What and who you are grateful for now? What and who are you grateful for now? Excuse me. Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of this universe. So with this, I feel like this goes also for today's holiday with it, um, being thankful for your family and your loved ones and also the awesome and amazing food y'all are going to be having today. Lucky y'all, I got to go to work. <laughs> it's cool though. I'll get some food later. I got people bringing me some plates. So then we have partnership. Allow health healthful support of partnerships into your personal life and career and both parties benefit as a result you are receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources so i feel like with this divide and conquer in the stores and i promise you you'll get everything that you need and as long as you communicate back and forth via text or call on each other to stay abreast on exactly who's got what and where who's going where next to get what with the strategizing, I think everything will work out just fine with getting your Black Friday items and the most bang for your buck. So we have employment change. Hmm, interesting. So with this, we have your career path is leading you in a higher direction with positive changes to support your dreams, priorities, passions, and life purpose. Trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new. You are being supported each step of the way. So with this, I feel like there might be some new job opportunities for those of you who have been looking for jobs out there, especially after Black Friday um, ends. Like if you've got an interview, I feel like if you had one this week is what I'm being told that I feel like it went well and that you should also be hearing back from them soon about their decision. I know it feels like a very... Um, stressful time waiting and wondering and hoping and wishing that you get this job, but you have to keep a positive open mindset. And if you don't, then it wasn't meant for you and that you will be opened up for something better to come in for you and also find something better. So if you have to, in the meantime, if you are really, really, really having a struggle out there, get a jump off job, get a simple Mickey D's, Taco Bell, Wendy's, whatever, Chick-fil-A, and an out Burger, small, simple restaurant, A to B, jump off job till you get what you need because large gaps in unemployment like areas on your resume and on your job applications when you fill it out for the um, jobs, it doesn't look well for some reason. Jobs tend to frown upon it for some reason. And I've seen that happen, especially for my husband because he had some large gaps and they were like, well, we don't want to hire you because you haven't worked in X, Y, Z amount of years, which really is discrimination because he's an awesome person and he's a hard, hard worker when he does. And he's a very smart man and he excels at everything he does. Like he's legit genius level. So if you understand that, then, and you can relate, then you'll know what I'm saying. Just, I know it sucks to take an A to B job and a jump off job like that, but you have to do what you got to do. And at least it's money in your pocket in the meantime until you find the job that you really want and really need. Alrighty. I hope you guys have a wonderful, safe holiday and please feel free to join me at the end for the rebel deck messages. Thanks for watching. Alrighty. For my loves who chose pile number three, this is how I distinguish between which files are which with the half dollars. I add an extra item, whether it be a crystal, or in this case, I add in an extra quarter for some luck for you guys for today and for your financial weekend. So without further ado, let's jump into these tarot cards. These will be your guidance for at the end for some angelic guidance, and these will be some extra clarifying um, cards 
for the tarot from the Akashic Tarot. The deck that I'm using for the tarot is the um, A Coins Tattoo Tarot deck. Which is, whoop, yeah, that deck. <laughs> this is a really awesome deck. I like it a lot. And I'm so glad that I got it. All right, so for your tarot cards, we have the Emperor. You guys exude power today, and I feel like you are definitely in full and complete control. Just stand in your power, stand tall, and know that you got this. We have King of Pentacles. Wise decisions with money today. Watch your pockets. We have Two of Wands. Lots of decisions as well are needed, especially ones that may affect your future. For those of you out there buying special jewelry for a special someone, just in case, that's kind of a message out there for one of y'all. Or a few of y'all. I don't know. Either way, you'll let me know down in the comments, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, we have Ten of Cups. Spending time with family today? Yeah, that's a given for most people. And I feel like it's also a time of happiness and coming together and sharing lots of love with those family members and lots of bonding today. We also have judgment. So with this, I feel like there's been a decision that's been made and it wasn't a very easy one. And I feel like it's been almost like torture a little bit with making this decision but I feel like it was much needed at this time for you guys to make that decision and that you've made the wiser decision and that things will get better for now. Or at least from now on, excuse me, is what I want to say. So that's what I get from these cards. So let's see what we get from the Akashic Tarot cards for some extra um, clarification. We have the Three of Roses, Loving Elementals, lots of love going around. We have the lookout. So I feel like, cause I'm really attracted to the fire in this card because of this card that they go together. I feel like even though you made this decision, I feel like it's definitely something that you need to keep an eye out for any kind of backlash. And I'm not saying that there will be, I'm just saying keep an eye out for any flare ups of tempers and whatnot today so that you guys can avoid that and maybe put out the fires quickly with any um, upsets, alrighty? And also, if you're out there shopping, shopping, please watch your tempers. It's not cool. And it's really embarrassing to see people just go off in the stores. Like, really, it's just like, mm, am I really with that person over there? It's great to speak your mind, but there's a line. And I do understand that there's a lot of tensions out there, especially this weekend. We have Archangel Gabriel. So with Gabriel, I feel like he is all about communication and um, resolving issues and keeping a balance, okay? And that if you need any angelic help, call on Archangel Gabriel is what I'm being told to say. So we also have Faded Meeting. Ooh, some love. Somebody might be running out into a soulmate out there and while they shopping. So congratulations if you do. You might just bump into that person, like just back up and oops, sorry, eyes meet, that's it, it's a wrap. That type of deal is what I'm getting today. That's kind of what the vision that I'm being shown is what I'm getting with this card. And I also feel like it's divinely timed as well. So that seems really awesome today for y'all. Let's see what we get from the Ab Angels of Abundance for some um, angelic messages. So we have... Pay yourself first. Make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have savings to invest your present and your future. So I feel like with this, all that money you've been squirreling away for yourself is going to pay off for this weekend's sales and that you did a wonderful job and this is kind of like a pat on the back for you guys okay then we have abundance mindset if you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future then it will always be one day away from you see feel think and speak or 
see, feel, think, and speak, yep, of abundance as something you already have in the present moment. And that is what you will experience. So if you feel like you've got everything you need financially, that is what you have. And that will be perfect for you. It will work out in divine timing with spending your money wisely and still having a lot left over. And I feel like it's going to be a surprise that a lot of you are going to have a lot of money left over after the sales to head into Monday with. We have clean energy food. When you fuel your body with healthful organic diet, you increase your energy levels and the ability to focus. This automatically leads to more efficiency, better ideas, and higher vibration, which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationships. Ooh, relationships, y'all. So with that, I feel like taking care of yourself, putting your best foot forward, dressing like, if, I, if I'm not dressed to the best, then I ain't eating type of deal, that type of thing. But I feel like, don't do that to yourself. I feel like you deserve to eat all that amazingly wonderful food today. You've earned it. Don't worry about the pounds or where it's going to go. You'll work it off. Run around later doing all that shopping that you plan on doing. So with this, I feel like with the beneficial relationships, I feel like definitely keeping an eye out today um, for any, like, um, potential meetings or like, I feel like someone's definitely going to catch someone's eye out there. I, I don't know really why, but I really do. And I feel like it's definitely, um, called for and that it's divinely timed. Okay. These are your messages. Stay tuned for the rebel deck and know that I love you and happy holidays. Alrighty. So without further ado, let's get into these rebel deck messages. Okay. Let's see what cheeky guidance we can get for today. For the holiday and for the weekend with our shopping. What do we most need to know? One more. So we have some regret and guilt, um, shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just bullshit. Forgive, let that shit go. So with this, I feel like try not to regret whatever it is that you're buying out there today and know that it's perfectly okay to kind of like hem and haw about your decisions and to be definitely like very mindful of them. That way you don't regret them later. Can't pick it up. <laughs> don't believe every shitty thought you have. Thoughts can be sneaky, lying bastards. So with this, don't let any negative thoughts crowd your mind today. Try and catch yourself and turn it around. And that way you'll have a wonderful um, time shopping and all for your holidays. We have fucking apologize. Seriously, just do it. So with this, I feel like it's more of a lighthearted apologize. Kind of like if you accidentally bump into somebody, that's all I'm getting from this is to apologize and to just keep it moving. And you might even make a friend out of it when you bump into whoever it is. Okay. So these are your messages. I love you guys a lot. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday today. I hope you enjoy all that amazing and wonderful food. And I hope you have a safe and wonderful weekend and especially be safe out there with your shopping. Thank you guys so much for watching, liking, and subscribing to my videos. And if you're new here, please feel free to consider subscribing. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.